This video and others like it are funded by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. El Gringo Philip was out drinking with his friends. He was then found dead in his hotel room in Medellin. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. This is the latest breaking news out of Medellin, Colombia. A 32-year-old man from Tennessee was found dead in his room. Let's jump into this short story and then I'll meet you on the other side. The 32-year-old man was from Tennessee and was staying in El Poblado. According to Minuto Trente, a man of American nationality was found dead in his hotel room located in El Poblado. The causes of death are unknown. The man found dead in a room four of the hotel in El Poblado at 5.20 in the afternoon was identified as Philip Ryan Mullins, 32 years old from Tennessee. According to official versions, on the night of December 15th, he was consuming liquor and hanging out with friends. On December 16th, around noon, some friends came to look for him to go out and he was found dead. Once the emergency service was called, they arrived at the scene but did not certify the death because criminal involvement must be ruled out. So a technical inspection of the body and the scene of the incident was required. Okay, this is all that's out right now. I tried to find another source, but this is as about a breaking news as you're going to get. So the story should fill in later today. should also be in El Colombiano shortly. And normally, uh, Minuto Trente will do a follow-up for it also. But I wanted to meet you on this side because I wanted to talk to you really quick about slipping and about drinking. If you're drinking, you're slipping. Okay, remember the people who are always watching you and waiting for you to make a mistake? They can slip up. They can make mistakes. You cannot. Alcohol, does it clear your mind? Or does it cause you to slip? Those who drink to excess you have to know that you're the weakest link in your crew. They're watching for the most sloppy drunk person and they're on their phone and they're talking. One thing I always hear, no matter uh, what picture of the girl that pops up afterwards that possibly may have had something to do with any of these crimes is, damn, she ain't looked that good. She ain't even that good looking. Man, he out there for that? But you don't recognize you've had a few drinks. Come on now. We don't all had a few drinks and people look different. Hell, I'm sure I look better to somebody else after a couple of drinks. It's just, I mean, you, you are more friendly. You're more outgoing. You're more ready to accept anybody when you're intoxicated. It's just the way it goes. I mean, some people may get angry, but uh, Medellin is not the place to be angry. First of all, remember, if you get into some trouble, humble yourself. Okay, humble yourself. Try to stay in groups if you can. But again, your whole group is marked as being single. Like I said in last night's video, if you're with a woman, you're even safer because then that takes you out of the crew that they're looking for. They're looking for single fish. Single fish. Are you by yourself? Are you with a group of guys? I'm talking to you. Okay, so out of everybody that I'm talking to right now, do me a favor and comment. Are you there solo? Or are you there with a group of guys? Or... Are you there with a woman? If you're there with a woman, chances are you're pretty much safe. Yeah, things happen everywhere. Things happen everywhere here in the States and anywhere in the world. Things are going to happen. But, I mean, it's, it's sheer odds. Because another thing to keep in mind is these stories come out. How many of these stories do not come out? If you saw my panel a few weeks ago on the live I thought maybe 5% of the people were actually reporting the crimes. The panel thinks there was a, a consensus, I think, of maybe 15%, 10 to 15%. Still, 15%, even 25% are the people who are reporting the crimes and letting people know that there's some issues. I mean, do you like those odds? I mean, think about it. You all probably know somebody. If you frequent there, if you frequent Medellin, Colombia, you probably know somebody personally that's been drugged. 
And because they made it out okay and they still continue to go, you think it's not that big a deal. But like I've been saying in my last few videos, the Christmas season is not the time to go. And it's definitely not for the novice. It's not for the new travelers. And if you watch me for any period of time, what, a week and a half ago, I, I did Medellin by the numbers. And 70% of the tourists that are going to Colombia, going to Medellin, Colombia, it's their first time travel there. Don't know if they've been anywhere else internationally, but this is definitely... I mean, you have to be on your P's and Q's. Yes, you can have fun. Yes, you can have a good time. I'm actually going to address this drinking and not to, on purpose, throw another YouTuber or two or three under the bus. But I need to bring this up because some people, I see the videos too. I mean, I, I watch certain YouTubers, certain international YouTubers. I watch a couple local ones. I mean, if I'm watching anything in in colombia it may be medellin buzz for medellin um love crossing borders with andre and andrea and cali i mean but i'm limited on people i can watch there so you know i watch international because i want to travel international too hell i'm just getting back from guatemala i haven't even completed all those videos yet before i have to keep addressing this story that story this update that story and there's a couple more that's been on a burner for uh, the past week. And not good news either about Americans, but I have to push it out. So I'm working on that. I want to get a few days together and then roll them out uh, over two or three days. But something keeps happening. I told you Christmas is not here yet. And it's the Christmas season that people are stressed down there for money. And it's going to go through February. So, I mean, if you have plans... And I've been asked all the time, would you cancel my travel? And I say, hey, send me your tickets because, heck, I do need to see my dentist. So I'll go. But I'm not I know. And I hate to say this because I know it's said in the comments. I know how to move. OK, yeah, I know how to move and not be out there late. And that's the best way to move is not be out there moving, not to be out there moving around at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, watching the sun come up, sharing liquor with other people. I'm going to show you this video. Well-known YouTubers out drinking and they, they and I think when you watch these videos, you learn that it's okay. Look, they did it. They wilding out on Satenta. Look, Dan prevents her drinking out of other girls' bottles. This girl pulled the liquor bottle, bottle out of her uh, purse. Yeah, that's the one I want to drink off of. And these are well-known YouTubers. So when you see this, you think they're doing it and they're safe. And again, I've said it time and time again, Medellin is alluring. The Poblado, Provenza areas are absolutely incredible. I mean, it's alluring. If you coming from the States and you may be from Chicago or New York right now where it's raining or snowing and it's cold and you go there and it's like a fantasy land. I mean, that's what I thought the first time I went, what, eight, nine years ago, but I went for work. But I, I mean, I fell in love with the city, just the, the fact that it was tropical. I mean, you got beautiful sights everywhere. There's always something to do, physical, hiking, climbing, tours. I've done so many tours there. Man, remember, Andres, my tour guide, his information is in the description of all my videos. Get down there, do something. And a portion of those fees go towards our charity. So leave something positive. Don't just go down there for that one thing. And if you're gonna go for that one thing now, Again, reevaluate, okay? And then if you still want to go reevaluate your reevaluation, you need to keep moving right now. There's other places to go. I mean, this message is for you because you're listening to me right now. But just think of how many people don't get to see my videos and they go down and they party and they free and they have too much to drink. And I'm not trying to drink shame anybody or alcohol shame anyone because I drink and I, not as much anymore because I can't. Um, I can't physically because I don't have any fat on my body. I hardly have. I don't know how much fat I have, but I, I've lost it all. So now two or three drinks and I'm wiped out. I had two drinks at my Christmas lunch. And I knew it was time to go. They're like, you want to have enough? No, no. Mm -mm. I, I can't do three drinks anymore. So I got to sip slowly over some time. How do you drink? Do you normally drink a lot? Do you let other people pour your drinks? You have to be careful with the alcohol. I mean, really, I don't trust anybody. I don't trust a bartender. So really, drinking ain't for me. When I would go before, I would take, you know, I would go to duty free. 
and uh, get me a bottle and take it there. Take it to Sweet Georgia and ask Rob, hey, can, you, can I just pour out of my own one? You can keep whatever's left, keep the bottle, and I'll leave him a bottle. So, but that was my thing. So Sweet Georgia Cafe is still there. Just don't overdrink anywhere. Don't overdrink there or anywhere else in the city. But always have a partner that can look out for you. When I grew up, I had a, a partner. Now he's still my closest friend um, in D.C., uh, Buck. So when I got too drunk when, when I was young, you know, I said, Shaw, I'm mucked up, whatever, man. Uh, look out for me. So then he had to stop drinking and look out for me. And vice versa. When he, when I knew he was out of it or he tell me he would, that was it. Guess who's driving? Me. And so you have to limit and look out for each other. Now, if you have friends that are wilding out again, just walking around all boisterous, yelling in the park like you're at home. Remember, you're not at home. You're in somebody else's house. How do you want to act in somebody else's house? Look at this whole city like it's somebody else's house. Be respectful of their house. Stop wilding out like you're at home. It's not that kind of vacation place. You're not on a beach. Okay, you're not on a cruise. You can't act in Medellin like you do on a cruise. Okay, you can't just get drunk and stumble back to your room. You're in a whole nother country with whole other rules and you got to adhere to these rules. Okay, somebody is always watching. If you have too much to drink, Mark. And you'll never know if they're watching. I'm going to show you some scenes of uh, the other ones in my video later. And you'll never know in that kind of crowd who's watching you. And every time somebody's on the phone, I'm thinking, who, who, you know, when I go through immigration there, I'm like, who the hell is he calling? Why is he on his phone? He's supposed to be checking my passport. I don't trust anybody. So nobody knows where I stay, not till I move. I mean, you just have to be careful. And I, and I advise any YouTubers also, you're just starting out and you want to show your new, nice new hotel, do that when you leave. Don't do it while you're there. Everybody I know, especially famous people that have gone there advertising where they were, got robbed and or shot. Go over the history over the past year. You guys have to be careful. You have to monitor your liquor. OK, I used to say one of the let me leave you with this. One of the most stupid things I ever said in my life was to my mom when she tried to tell me something. And I would say, I want to learn from my own mistakes. That way, I'm sure that's stupid. That was so stupid to this day. I've said a lot of stupid things and I've slipped up and I've, I've said some crazy stuff, but that's about as stupid as it gets. I want to learn from my own mistakes. Why? I can learn from somebody else's mistakes. I see these stories. I watch these stories. I hear these stories from you. Why would I put myself in the same position? You now taught me how to survive. And I'm hoping to pass that on to one. That's why I do these videos to one. If it helps one person, I've done my job. I'm good. I'm good with that one. Okay. And depending upon how many people watch the video, I, I got another partner that told me, man, Rob, if two, I said, somebody's not even going to watch that video. He said, look, if 200 people watch that video, there's some churches don't even have 200 people. And I have to remember that. So if I'm speaking to 200 people right now and one of them gets it and he either stays away during the holiday or he protects himself when he goes, protects himself better, monitors his, his alcohol because there's such a thing as alcohol poisoning. And we don't know about this story. We don't know if it was alcohol. We don't know if there was foul play. This story is fresh off the block. So um, hopefully more information will be coming out later. But guys, watch your alcohol intake. Watch who's pouring your drinks. Don't take a drink from anybody else. And again, I'm going to show you people that are showing it's all rosy down there. And it ain't. This story proves it. And this is just the ones we know about. I know for a fact that there's more people that have disappeared or have issues than that are actually in the news. It just doesn't make it to the news. I look for weeks. When's the story going to pop up? And I know the story's true and it doesn't pop up. Why? First of all, most people don't report it. What if they report it and they still don't want it in the news? Guys, you got to be careful. You're on your own. You're on your own when you lead this country. Remember that. And I've said that before. If you know my history throughout the past five years with the United States Embassy, you know, 
you know I know what I'm talking about. Let's put it that way. And you are on your own. When you leave this country, you're on your own. Stop looking for them. Again, I tell this story. I used to think like the movies. All I need to do is make it back to the embassy. All I need to do is make it back to the embassy and I'm good no matter what problems I have. Nah, bro. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. You can run and run and run and you get to the embassy and they'll give you a list of attorneys and say, hey, hey, you can use some of these, but we don't verify them. Tell me if I'm lying. Anybody ever had to deal with this? I mean, just the trauma and, uh, and drama to, to try to get someone's loved one back to the States is hell. It's work. Remember, you're not alone. You have a family. You're somebody's brother. You're somebody's son. You're somebody's father. I mean, if you're somebody's father and you're down there wilding out and risking your life, knowing your, your kids, I don't know how old they may be, but knowing they're, they're young and still impressionable and need their dad. And here you are wilding out on the streets in another country, thinking you back in the States when you're not. Remember, you're not at home. Let me leave you with that because I'll keep on going. Guys, watch your alcohol intake and remember to travel but travel safe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on guys, hold on guys. Right quick, remember, Christmas is coming in less than two weeks right now. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com, the contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below.